material is high density polyethylene resin, so recycled plastic, weather resistant, keep them outside, moisture fading, keep them out in the winter, snow, heat, whatever. Feature that most people love, they fold right down to the ground. Okay? So you can bring them around, you can move them around, you know, they're not stuck in your backyard and you can't move them, right? The portability aspect is huge. Customization. This one right here, Funky Life. You can put your company logo on it, you can put your own last name in there if you want, or you put the word family. So you can, you can customize anything. You can pretty much put anything you want on the chair. All right, so Carrie and I are here with Mike from MyCustomSportsChair.com. Fantastic business owner. Got started around the same time as us, and I'd love to hear the backstory, Mike. So tell us, you got started, you said in 2015? Yeah, 2015. It started with uh, literally a drawing on the wall over there of a Phil Kessel jersey. That's how it was approached with us, and uh, we took the idea. We started testing product and chairs, and we locked in the NHL license. It was our first license that we had. Um, and then, yeah, off and running we were. Started getting a couple deals with Molson Canadian. It was one of our first big deals. And then slowly just added licenses as we went, NFL and then MLB. And then we started realizing that custom was a huge part of our business that we didn't anticipate. So corporate companies go to Toronto airport, there's 300 CIBC chairs. Those are all our chairs. Yep. Um, so yeah, we started doing a lot of corporate stuff and then we just built our direct to consumer business. Um, with How recent have you moved into this shop? We've been here for about a year and a half now. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty much finished. You'll see some little things that still need to be done probably, but yeah. we've been here before that we were not far down the street in Stony Creek. Um, and then, yeah, so it's an 11,000 square foot facility. Um, sometimes it feels like it's too small depending on the time of year. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, we're excited to be in this spot now. That's awesome. And how many people are you employing right now? We're about 20, uh, 20 full time and another five part time. So about up to 25 employees. So we do have room to grow in this building, which is nice. Yeah. And so t tell us about just like the, uh, the growth uh, pattern. Obviously, if you started with just a, a picture and an idea and a dream, and then it's, it's where you are now. Like, tell us like kind of, if you could, some of the ups and downs along that journey. Tons of ups and downs okay. throughout the years, as you guys yeah. probably know through your business. Um, yeah. yeah, you know, uh, growth is always great and you want sales, but you have to be ready for the sales too, yeah. right? So having the right infrastructure and having, you know, we've added more CNC machines as we've grown because just to keep up with demand, mm -hmm. you know, um, but now we're able to knock out, you know, 50 to 80 chairs a day. Yeah. Um, you know, when we started, maybe we could only do 15. Okay. You know, so we, we've, our capacity is a lot higher now. Um, and again, it comes with some labor, also some, you know, again, CNC machines or whatever we need, but um, doing everything in house has allowed us to be able to grow like that. Yeah. Printing in house, um, you know, to cutting, we literally make everything except for our resin. So everything is made here. So we control it and yeah, it's just about executing in your warehouse. Yeah, and, and having that like high bar of quality that you can always maintain so you're not disappointing people, I think is, is huge. We, you know, as you say, on top of that, yeah, we have a very, we have like a, almost a five-star review online because we do take pride in, you know, the three owners pretty much up until this year, we've, we've boxed every single chair, Yeah. you know? So we slowly, obviously you move on with more employees and keep it going, but we do take pride. You're selling a higher ticket item. You want to make sure that people are getting quality mm -hmm. and that speaks with it, the, the reviews online that we have. So I can speak as, an, as a business owner. So our, our motto has always been buy quality, sell quality, right? right? But there's that fear of like, holy crap, like, you know, you sell something that like I could go to Costco and get for a little bit cheaper, sure. right? It's not gonna be custom, but whatever, you know, probably not gonna be made in Canada, but whatever. And uh, in your experience, like, is that, is that fear of like, oh man, people are just gonna go to the cheap guy. Is that founded or like, have you been able to consistently We've, ex um, yeah. we've accepted the fact that we're not for everybody. Yes. Right. Not everybody can drive a Cadillac. You drive a Honda Civic maybe, right? Sure. So, yeah. I mean, we push quality and yeah. we want to make sure that what we send out is quality, not going to break on you, you know, that it's going to last. Uh, we stand by our product. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, it's not, it isn't for everybody, but we, we're kind of in that range of mid, you know, there's more expensive and yep. there's, you know, there's less expensive. We're kind of somewhere in that range, but we have that licensed customization appeal that sets us apart from pretty much any other chair or furniture company out there. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So you have your differentiation point. And I think, I mean, there's like, there's definitely from my perspective, I thought about, okay, like, you know, we put our life savings in the Bunky Life factory. We said, we're gonna, we're gonna make the world's best Bunky right here in Canada, yep. right? For Canadians. 
um, and now for North Americans as we ship to the US. And yeah. I think about like, oh man, would it have just been smarter and easier just to like import it? Re- like, you know what I mean? Like there's such a, a risk of, of doing something like that. And then there's also, um, I wonder sometimes, like do people really appreciate the fact that it is made in Canada? Or do people even be able to recognize that, right? I find that people do yeah. when they buy they're like, oh, I'm glad you're Canadian. Yes. I'm glad you're not coming in from China. So yes, 100%. You'll yep. have people that, listen, they'll buy cheap and they'll buy from China or wherever they want. But yep. a lot of people do. I think this day and age too where we're at, mm-hmm. that they're starting to, you know, really like Canadian, North American type of made over here yep. instead of going overseas, employing jobs here. And back to, you know, putting your life savings into your business. Yeah. If we didn't do it, we wouldn't have been successful. I'm yeah. sure you guys would have found that too. You yeah. can't be half in, you can't be no. an accountant during the day and building bunkies at night. You either no. gotta be in or I don't think it's gonna work. Yeah. So I'm sure you've appreciate the, the stresses that go with that because all three of us, uh, all the owners, we can all appreciate that. Yeah. You know, and how much it takes to actually grow a business. You can have a great idea. Yeah. But you know, it doesn't mean it's gonna be a successful business. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. It's, so it's, what I found is um, every year in Bunky Life, but once a year, we'll have a holy shit, we're going to lose the house moment. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, we're going to lose everything. Uh, we're going to be living in a box or maybe in a van down by the river. We should make the box. Yeah. We live in a bunkie down <laughs> yeah. by the river. Have you had any of those moments? And if you can, can One, you share them with us? Like 100%. And yeah. I mean, being a business owner, you're going to appreciate cash flow. Yeah. Cash flow is always the biggest issue in any business, I believe. Yep. Um, and then the bigger you get, the more money you need. Mm-hmm. The banks don't wanna just say, oh, here, here's here's a million dollar operating line, have fun with it, right? Yep. So 100%, we've had numerous issues through the years where, you know, okay, we gotta figure this out. We have a big order, we gotta fill this order. How do we fill this order? You know, stuff like that, where, again, I'm sure you've been down it and, you know, sleepless nights and, you know, what are we gonna do? Um, but I think if you believe in your product, yeah. I think, you know, you should come out on the, you know, the right side and making limited mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes on the way. Yeah. Try not to make that mistake twice. Yeah. Cause it's going to cost you. And when, if you're the owner, it's costing your bottom line out of your pocket where, you know, so limited mistakes, we have damaged products when we're cutting stuff and, you know, you try to figure out what, what went wrong and how to fix it and don't yeah. let it happen again. Yeah. Um, because again, those are dollars out of your pocket when you're an owner mm-hmm. that, you know, can hurt sometimes. So if I'm a kid and I'm thinking, oh man, like, you know, how do I be like Mike right here? How do I, how do I, you know, grow this uh, fantastic chair empire, right? What would your advice be if you could break it down to one or two or three things? What would your advice I, be? I think for one, have an idea that you believe in. Yeah. You know, don't just, you know, I think it's cool. If, if you, two, find a need that's not out there. Mind you, Adirondack chairs are out there. We just added like a, a touch to it that no one was doing. Yeah. Um, I always say it's like adding rims to your car. Yeah. You don't need them, but it's nice. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, and then three, just be all in. Mm-hmm. Don't be afraid, I guess, uh, to take the risk. There's people out there that don't want to take the risk. Yeah. Right? Or everybody would be starting their own business. So yeah. you have to be, I think you have to be all in and you have Slightly to. Slightly crazy, maybe even. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I've, Talk to my wife. She would say yes. Yeah. <laughs> You're crazy sometimes. But yeah, um, yeah just b- believe in it and be all in and give it a shot. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. Awesome. Well, I um, really appreciate you taking the time to show us around. This is just an awesome business. And um, I'm just always impressed with people that, you know, put it on the line and say, hey, I'm going to stand and I'm going to be a Canadian made yeah. product, right? Uh, in a world where most people are like, how do I save 10 cents on this thing, right? It's like, hey, why not just make it as good as you possibly can? Uh, for Canadians, by Canadians, I, I love that idea, yeah. um, and that's why I think uh, you know we're super pumped to see where you go with this. Yeah. Um, and if Bunky Life can be a small part of that story, it'd be awesome too. But I just you know really enjoyed the the tour here. I would yeah. suggest if you are local anywhere within a ten hour drive of Stony Creek, Ontario, come check it out. And do you, do you let people kind of see like what sure people I, anybody yeah. comes in, I'll walk yeah. you through it. Hundred percent. We people love to see kind of how things are made. They, they don't yes. really know. They think, oh, and they come in here and like, whoa, this place is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, but again, we do ship for 50 bucks. So if you can't make it in and you're anywhere yeah. in Canada, we'll ship it right to your house. That's a, that's a steal of a deal. Awesome, Mike. Well, thanks so cool. much for your time, buddy. Yeah, thanks yeah. for stopping by. Okay, cheers. All right.